coaches, Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data as far as what coaches want. And also, if, you, if I can get to a thousand subscribers, I'll start doing weekly YouTube clinics for free. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. Um, now you're gonna see it you know, with not going to the fullback. So now we're pitching it to the running back. Still the tight end's got that tan call. We've made the arc call to tell him, typical OP roll down. He's got the, the arc. We're tanning there. Fullback's got his normal role, which is, or, you know, it's trash instead of near deep defender. It's now it's trash to free safety. Um, quarterback footwork's the same. Now we're pitching to our backside back. Um, so we're gonna do this. Um, out of the gun so i drew it up under center but it's gone so we just took our fullback we moved out of the pistol which puts him in a really good blocking situation here so we're going to double here and then of course we're zoning the option there we're arcing and uh he's going trash to to free safety so right there it looks like we had a switch call okay this is kind of a tough look Okay, so this guy walked up. So now that became our, this was our pitch key, right? We've got a switch call. Those two have got those two. The fullback had him originally. But when he walks up at the line, we're going we're gonna to pitch off the first thing outside of our time block. He became our pitch key. So now the fullback, who was blocking him, his job changed. And they sorted all that out and did a really good job. Um, if, we'd have, if we'd have pitched the ball, we, we, had, we had him leveraged. We could have. What happened is because of the blitz, that opened up a big cavity. The quarterback's in the gun. He's really downhill. That's the good thing. You're gonna. It seems like when we run this um, in the gun to the tight end side, we end up running more because it's wider and he's downhill. He sees it. Now, if we run it to the open side and it's the speed option arc, we still get it pitched almost. The tight end side, he sees this and we take this. So it becomes a C-gap play for us. But right there was a good job and uh, we got a good gain out of it. But if he took it out and pitched it, it would have been okay too. Right there, we're doubling here. So now he's going to climb. He's probably going to run into that. We're going to end up a double there. They split us. Horrible here. This was our first year here. We were um, still teaching people to go from the air raid to the option, which one of the reasons we were in a little more gun. It was an easier transition. Same thing there. So we're going to double him. Again, we got the switch call, so he's blocking him. He's got him. Now, fullback, I think, may be wrong on this one. This should be our pitch key. Fullback should be to right there. Let's see. Nope. So we're wasting this guy, right? We're pitching off him. We never want to block the guy we're pitching off of. So we wasted a blocker here. But we did a great job here and on the perimeter, so it was still a good game. And one thing I will say about running the stuff in the gun is it is more forgiving. You can get away with some stuff that, that under center might hurt you. So that, that is one of the advantages for sure. Okay, same thing. We're doubling him. We're switch blocking. So we're here. Now, same thing. This guy ran out. So, you know, we're getting a little bit of diff. And he wasn't in a place where we would call him our pitch key. So we were right on here. The only difference is... This guy, this is the pitch key. He should have ignored him at this point and worked up. Quarterback's going to run anyway. Um, I think he just ran into him, so when I blocked him. I mean, not going to run, but the ball's going to be pitched, so it probably wasn't a bad deal. So I'm sorry. We, we were right. We were absolutely right. That's the back, right? I got confused to who this was. We're getting a little three-two exchange. You know, he's here. So at the time, that's how we were coaching the three-two exchange was the arc blocker to go ahead and take it. So, so we were right on there at what we were doing at the time for sure. Okay, this is clean here, pretty tight. So we're gonna get that double right here. You're thinking, you're thinking we're gonna get the ball pitched, right? And we've got these guys removed because we're more in a twins formation. So they've got those two, whether we're arcing it or just stocking it, and then he's trash on up. Um, so I remember this. It was in Cowboy Stadium. Early in the game, we ran regular option. We pulled it off the four, and the quarterback gave the nine one of these and went for 50. Um, so he tried to do it again. 
And man, right here, you're just saying, pitch the ball, right? Pitch the ball, pitch the ball. I was not happy with him, but that's why. He did it earlier and it scored a touchdown. But right there, pre-snap, you gotta think. There, this is a three-two exchange, you know, where he goes out and he takes, you know, which is the only thing that would dictate a, you know, a cut up really at that point. So definitely should have pitched the ball right there. Um, and we come back later and, and pitch it and we have a good play. So how do we coach the quarterback in the gun opposed to jumping back? We just catch it and we go right now downhill. Um, right now downhill. We attack the pitch key, the inside shoulder of the pitch key right now. He's doing a good job of everything, but he needed to pitch the ball. Same, same formation. We're in a little overset, unbalanced when it twins. Now he's a little looser. You think, man, maybe I could run now, you know, as a quarterback. But I think that had already happened. So now he does a good job making him commit. Fullback's got the trash. We're just stocking out here two for two because they're playing man. You know what I mean? And, and good play. Should have happened the time before, but we got it corrected. Okay, uh, we're in the gun now, and we're, we're going to run it away from the overset. So we're just running our base. This is our very base arc one that we showed you earlier. I think it was in the wishbone we showed it earlier. So those two are going to zone this guy. We're pitching him. He's got an arc tag, right? He's arcing in the fullback, so he moved to this side. You know, the format. I think we checked to this, maybe. And then he's he's got trash to the near-deep defender. Um so this isn't this isn't our tan arc. This is just our, our regular zone arc call. Right there. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about um, is when we're running it, this zone option, we run some play action off of it, but what, what we started doing this year is running an RPO off of it. Um, and we haven't coached this good, but I think there's a lot of merit. And we ran it, I think we ran it four times. We completed it twice to the wideout. Once we had to, we actually had to run the option, the quarterback ran, and, uh, or twice the quarterback ran, I believe. And the other two times, so the two times we threw it, we completed it. It didn't look pretty in the games as it did in practice. So we got some work on it. But basically what we're doing is we're just running zone option here. So we're gonna step and get our double. Fullback um, is going trash to free safety like normal. Um, he's still the pitch man, cause we could still pitch it. And he's gonna outside release. We like this versus two highs where we might get like a corner trigger. Um, so that's what we're doing. So our quarterback's gonna step back just like he normally does. He's gonna read this corner. Now, in this game, we had a pretty good idea. Look at their alignment that they were triggering corners. So if this corner triggers, then he, we're going to throw the whole shot in the cover two right there. Okay? If he doesn't, if he holds there, you know, if he holds it all, then we're doubling this guy and we're going to pitch off of this guy. You know? Um, so, do on this, particularly our quarterback, you know what I mean? He's not really making in our fullback. We coached the lineman to be slow getting downfield. Look, he, he was almost in the quarterback's way because I think we, we had a pretty good idea in this RPO we were going to throw the wide out. So he almost he needs to be attacking, you know what I mean, trash up here. you know. So like I said, we've got some work to do on coaching it, but I think the theory of it's good. Corner triggered, and now we're able to throw the whole shot. And it kind of came to fruition because we used to do that, but sometimes we would call that play. Um, you know, we would call the call the, the the RPO right here, and this darn guy wouldn't trigger, and we were stuck, and we wasted a play. So we said, well, let's just RPO it instead of calling it, and that way if he doesn't trigger, let's just keep running our option. Um, so, you know, that's what we're thinking there. Here's the end zone look at it. Obviously – we overcoached the, the, you know, I think that in the first, we won't even tell them anything. We said, don't go downfield, you zone, but be slow. They almost look like they're pass blocking. You know what I mean? I think we'll just coach them that we'll just, it's a tag. I don't even think we'll tell them it's a pass. So, because here we should be working off here, here. We should be more physical here. And then our fullback and quarterback got to do a better job. You know what I mean? That's in no way if we were running the ball, 
here how we want to go attack that mic, right? But I think it I think it's a good concept. I think we need to develop it more. Um, but a way to run an RPO from under center zone option. And you could do the same thing out of gun. Probably be a lot easier on the quarterback out of the gun. Um, so same thing here. You know, again, you can see when we run it, we get this two shell. We like it. So here we get the trigger. Now our lineman did a much better job. You know what I mean? They're here. Um, I think in this game we had a tag it where we could hinge the backside on this because um, they, were, they were doing something that was giving us problems with this this like, guy running off maybe. I think he was really talented. We were worried about that. So we just made a little call. But you can see. we got It doesn't look real clean. I don't think it looks good, but like I said, it was effective. I think the concept sound, we just got to tweak it a little bit. And it might be something that's better for us out of the gun, realistically, if we continue to run this zone option out of the gun. I think it would be a little easier for our quarterback. But, you know, I mean, it, it takes advantage of the, the defense trigger in that corner. And, you know, if they don't trigger, we've got an option play. Fullback did a better job there. You know what I mean? So that, that was a little better. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And if I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll do free YouTube clinics. And you also get notified when I'm doing those YouTube clinics and when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.